Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your mid-month reading for the month of August. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader as well as a root worker. Please keep in mind Pisces that this is a general collective reading so not all messages will resonate for every single person out there or every single Pisces out there. So if for some reason these, <laughs> excuse me, if for some reason these messages do not resonate, but you still want to get some clarity on the rest of your month, we can always schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, um, and you can contact me through my website, which is down below in the description box. So with all that in mind, Pisces, let's go ahead and just jump right into the reading, take what resonates and leave the rest behind, all right? So first we're going to start with the tea leaf oracle deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Pisces for the rest of August? What messages do you have for my Pisces for the rest of August? All right. Let's see what we got here. We have the club and the cobweb. Okay, let's look at this club first. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Oh, no. Don't want to hear that. And the cobweb, let's see, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Amazing. Let's see how these two tie together, if they do at all. I'm going to go ahead and clarify each of these cards with the tarot deck and see what messages come up. Spirit, what messages do you have regarding this club for my Pisceans? Okay. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles reversed and Seven of Pentacles with the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is very interesting, Pisces. Let me just show you your cards before I jump into the message. Okay, so Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Pentacles, and this King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now the card at the bottom of the deck usually talks about things that are outside of our control affecting the situation. You very well could have someone who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, kind of putting you in this position, maybe possibly trying to coerce you into doing something that you do not want to do. What's interesting here is we have this Eight of Cups, which talks about walking away, usually. I don't know if they're trying to make you walk away from something, or this is you walking away from the situation. So take what resonates, okay? If you have someone trying to make you walk away or turn your back on something maybe that you've been working really hard on. Okay, Seven of Pentacles energy talks about investments in our growth, our future, and things like that. Um, sowing the seeds for a, a later harvest. <sighs> I'm, I'm really, really, really not sure which is which. I'm not sure if they're trying to get you to walk away from something or if they are, if you see what they're doing and you are choosing to walk away from this energy and choose to invest in yourself. Um, they may indeed actually be trying to get you invest in them or something that they have an idea of. With this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like this is saying don't this is something not to invest in. That's what I'm getting. Okay, this is not the time to be giving out money or putting your energy into something. Um, especially if you don't feel 100% right about it. Usually our intuition and our gut will tell us when something isn't right. Let's look at the Numinous Astro deck for more messages. Let's try again. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Pisces regarding this club? Okay, we got two. So we got the square or a challenge. Creates tension, sounds the alarm, motivates, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles, hurts, works out, and reconciles. Okay, so this person may be trying to push you in a direction and they are creating some sort of tension. Um... <sighs> There could be some really, really strong coercion here, possibly even a little bit of fear tactics as well. Um, they could be making it really difficult for you to walk away, or they could be making it really difficult for you to stay. Again, take what resonates. I'm not sure what this Eight of Cups is really trying to tell me here. We also have the North Node, Destiny. 
Okay, so your North Node is all about um, your fulfillment, your purpose, your um, North Star. It's like your guiding light. Um, this is the journey that you are meant to fulfill here on this planet in this lifetime. So I'm not sure if they are trying to kind of steer you away from that. Um, if it doesn't feel right when they bring it up to you, definitely listen to that feeling. At the bottom of the deck, we have the seventh house of relating. Um, this is a, this is the house of partners, companionship, best friends, marriage, relationships, um, opposition, communion, justice, balance, and social awareness. Okay, so it could be any of those categories. This house is um, usually associated with Libra, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Libra. Um, so this is all about partnerships, how you relate to others. Um, this can talk about, again, like I said, justice or social justice, social awareness, balance. They could be trying to push you in a direction where you create a space that is not balanced or equal for not only yourself, but for others, okay? Trying to disrupt some sort of relationship or connection with you and someone else or other people. Um, wow, I mean, it's just... They could be trying to create tension between you guys. All right, so keep that in mind, Pisces. Um, someone is definitely trying to come for your peace and trying to disrupt your mission here on this earth. Let's go ahead and move on to the cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. I'm going to shuffle the tarot deck a little bit here. I'm going to shuffle the tarot deck here just a little bit. One more shuffle. Very interesting. I wonder if this is the protection you need from with this club. Spirit, what messages do you have regarding this cobweb for the Pisces? For the Pisces people. Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords, and the Tower card. Yeah, big, big, big disruption. And then the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right. So let me show you your cards so you can see what I am seeing. Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords, and the Tower. The Tower definitely speaks of a huge shakeup around you, but the great thing is, is you have this Wheel of Fortune here, um, saying that things will be going in your favor even though things may be falling apart around you or for other people. Whatever the situation is, it could be happening so close to you that you'll kind of be amazed like wow how did this not hit me or how did this not affect me or bring me down with it kind of a feeling um man um spirit definitely doesn't want you to be reacting in this situation or do anything that can put you in harm's way or put you in the path of destruction the four of pentacles here definitely talks about holding back your energy Okay, holding back, be observant, but do not be involved, which is really, really interesting. Um, mm. <laughs> this Four of Pentacles could also, I'm sorry, because that is the shadow card, it could also refer to the cause of this tower card. This could have to do with someone being extremely greedy or um, self-protective, okay, trying to protect themselves at all costs, okay, so again, this could turn up in, say, the workplace, someone who messes up and they do everything they can to cover it up, um, point fingers, blame, whatever, and that all could just come crashing down into a huge mess. Um, I heard internal investigation, very interesting. Um, Four of Swords definitely wants you to kind of reflect on your part in this or the things you heard or said or were done, things you may have witnessed, because you may be called upon to kind of bear witness to everything that's happened. It's going to be up to you, and maybe that is what this club is. Maybe someone is trying to get you to go along with lying for them. Um trying to tell you it's in your best interest to cover for them, things like that. It's going to be up to you on whether you decide, you know, if that is the right thing to do or not. All right, Pisces, 
So you're gonna have a lot of things to think about. Sorry, let me just shuffle this deck really quick. Don't want any repeating cards if they're not meant to be repeated. Let me just do one last shuffle and we'll get a little bit more information here. All right, Spirit. What additional messages do you have surrounding this cobweb for the Pisces people? All right, we have a Virgo. I don't know if you have Virgo somewhere in your chart, okay? Or look and see what house Virgo rules in your chart. That could be a big indication as well. I know we had the uh, seventh house come up. Maybe the seventh house is uh, ruled by Virgo for you. We also have Cancer. There could be Sorry about that, Pisces. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that, Pisces. Um, had a helicopter go by. Um, all right, so we have Cancer here. Um, could also be a Cancer involved. So Cancer or Virgo or a house that is ruled by Cancer. That might be something to look into in your chart or see what planets are ruled by Cancer or Virgo in your chart to get a little bit more information about where this issue could be coming up. All right, Pisces, but that is what I'm seeing for you for the rest of August. Please leave a like and a comment if this resonated for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, again, if you want to schedule a personal reading with me, you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. And if you want to follow me on my other socials like Instagram or TikTok, that info is below as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your month, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!